Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Bout of Books 13. In case you guys aren't aware, Bout of Books is a week-long readathon. You basically set your own goals and from Monday through Sunday you just try to read as much as you possibly can within the week. Personally, Bout of Books is probably my favorite readathon because one, it's a week long and two, you can set your own goals so there's no real like pressure outside of what you think you can actually achieve within the week. And I also feel like it's relatively low key, so even if you don't achieve your own goals, it's still okay because you were still reading and having fun, hopefully. So Bout of Books 13 is starting on Monday, May 11th? Yeah, 11th. <laughs> I couldn't remember what the date was. Um, and then runs through the following Sunday. I will have a link in the description to the blog post that talks all about it. But I am here to talk about what my potential TBR list is. The way I do readathons is I sort of just create like a potential TBR where I just make a pile of books so that when I finish one book I can just kind of grab from it. But I'm also not very strict on what exactly I'm going to read. Usually I just set either book goals, like a number of books or a number of pages, things like that. So my goal for this readathon is to kind of just finish as many books as possible that are from my own physical TBR. I feel like I've been neglecting my own books and reading a lot of arcs and a lot of library books. So my goal with Bout of Books is to just work on the books that I physically own. So I've grabbed a lot of my shorter, quicker reads that I have sitting on my shelf. So the first book actually is from the library, which completely contradicts everything I just said. Um, but it's The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston. This is actually the book that I'm currently reading. So if I don't finish this for some reason before Monday, then I'm going to be reading this first off. It's a pretty quick read so I feel like I will be able to finish it before Monday but I am going out of town this weekend and coming back on Monday morning so there is a chance that if I don't finish it before I leave for my trip then I'm probably not going to finish it before Monday so this will be first off to finish because this is due on the 15th so I have to return it back to the library. So I have to finish this book so this is first up on the list but I swear all of the rest of these books are books that I own. So in my head I'm hoping to finish at least seven of these books so like one a day. Um, these are all short enough that I think I could potentially do that but I know there are days where I'm busy so I'm probably not gonna have a lot of time to read but hopefully these are all like relatively short that I could finish them like before work during my lunch break that sort of thing. So I have The Seamstress and the Wind by Cesar Aria. Um, I got this as a Christmas present and it has just been looking at me for a very long time and it's pretty short so this is probably on the top of the list. I have two George Orwell books Down and Out in Paris and London and homage to Catalona. Um, down and out in Paris and London would probably be first up if I was going to pick between the two just because it's relatively smaller and shorter it seems like but George Orwell is always very like deep like it makes you think a lot so I don't know if these are necessarily good readathon books but they're there if I need like nonfiction. Then I have a bunch of books from Melville House's The Art of the Novella series that I haven't read yet. I have The Death of Ivan Illich by Leo Tolstoy, Lady Susan by Jane Austen, The Eternal Husband by Dostoevsky and the Haunted Bookshop by Christopher Morley. I feel like these are all short enough that I could read these easily within an evening on one of those days where I'm busy. I've got How to Save a Life by Sarah Zar, which is a young adult book and I feel like because I like Zara, Sarah Zar, this would be a good one for the readathon. Like the font is pretty big and I feel like she always deals with deep topics but I'm still able to read the books pretty quickly so this would be a good readathon pick. Then I have Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory from Caitlin Doty. I've heard nothing but good things about this book and it's relatively short so I feel like this is one I could finish on like a Saturday or something like that. And then of course I have my graphic novels. I have In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang and then I have Saga Volumes 3 and 4 that I still have to read. So these will most likely get read during the week because these are always what I go to when I feel burnt out towards the end of the week. Also this will be good on the days when I'm super duper busy and don't have a lot to do. So yeah that's a really quick video talking about my potential TBR. Let me know if you guys are participating in Bout of Books. You can feel free to follow me on Twitter. I will probably be tweeting a decent amount about Bout of Books but I will also be snapchatting. I feel like snapchat is like made for stuff like this like the story feature is made for readathons. So if you have snapchat and you want to follow me I will put information about my snapchat in the description which is something I usually don't do but I feel like if you want to follow me you can. I don't snap a lot but I'll do it for this readathon. Also if you've read any of these books and you know that they would either be really good for a readathon or really bad for a readathon let me know because obviously I don't know how any of these are going to go until I actually read them so if you have any insight let me know. So yeah that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.